in the land of grills. We're doing a charcoal challenge today. b, &B charcoal against Kingsford Professional. I've heard a lot about the Kingsford. Uh, this will be my first time using it, uh, but I've used the b, &B a lot, but I've got a lot of people telling me this is better than b, &B. We're gonna find out today. I'm gonna show you what the two of them cost. We're gonna take a look at um, you know how much they cost per pound. And then we're gonna do somewhat of a scientific test using the SNS kettle grill where we're gonna just gonna burn 10 briquettes of the Kingsford, lighting just just one, and then putting 10 in there, monitoring attempts, see how long they go, see how much, much ash there is. Then once that's done, we'll do the same thing with the B&B. &B. In the end, we'll be able to tell you which is better, B&B &B or Kingsford. Let's get started. Right, so the kettle we're gonna use, this is the 18 inch SNS travel kettle. And you're saying, Tom, why'd you pick this one? This one is, um, don't use it much, but <laughs> what I like about it is that we're going to use the SNS charcoal basket. And on the inside, compared to the Jumbo Joe, it's got a lot more airflow on the inside. And I, I just think it'll work better for this test today. And we're, every time we do it, we're going to set it up exactly the same. We're going to have our charcoal in here. We're going to have it somewhat centered. We're going to light just one with a torch. And I'm, I'm going to be specific how I do that too. Two minutes with the torch. That's it. Let it sit for another two minutes. Let it ash over. Pile the, the, the other nine around it. We're going to leave the vent right open on the bottom. We're going to put the vent opposite of it. And we're going to monitor the temperatures right there. Let you know how what the hottest is. And then we're going to see how long they burn and approximately who's got more ash. So super simple that way. Let's take a closer. Why don't we get the first stuff going here? We'll take a closer look at the charcoal itself. All right, so let's take a look at the bags themselves and what they're telling you on it. You've got the, you know, Kingsford has many different types. They actually have a long-lasting one in the Professional Series also. b and only got this one when it comes to briquettes, and they are talking about it's made from oak lump and no chemical additives or fillers. And I don't know what, what it means when they say made naturally, uh, but this is a 17.6-pound bag. Uh, we got 12 pounds here in the Kingsford. Let's see, the, the, doesn't really say what the Kingsford is made out of, except that it's made from 100% natural ingredients. We'll look, take a look at the back of the bag. Back of the bag on the B&B, &B, it talks about it burns hotter, longer, cleaner, and it looks like it's great for everything. 100% all natural charcoal briquettes. Uh, looking at the Kingsford here, I'm still trying to see what kind of wood it's made out of, and they're really not saying much here that, you know, other than it's made with uh, all natural ingredients. Uh, not really sane. Uh, maybe their website says right, something. We'll go to kingsford.com. You should have something there. And all you got is this one paragraph here. USA 100% natural ingredients and premium wood char. So they're really not saying what kind of wood it's made out of. Let me go through here. And uh, it's supposed to be their low ash. Great for Kamado cooking but uh, doesn't say what kind of wood it's made with. Let's check out the B&B &B site. All right, so on the B&B &B official site, it talks about how it's made from oak. Oak briquettes, uh, all natural, no chemical, burns hotter, longer, cleaner, available in a variety of sizes. Let's see what we can do about looking at prices here, which I think is gonna be difficult because uh, like the Kingsford goes on sale like around holidays and all that, and it's hard to really give an accurate price, but let's take a right. look. So I'm just gonna use walmart.com. Uh, I, I know someone's gonna say you can get it cheaper at Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace. It's, <laughs> it's gonna be all over the place. So right now at uh, walmart.com, this is June of 2023, it is going for 30 bucks. They got a two pack there, it doesn't make sense unless this is different, it's got yellow on it. Uh, for 70 bucks for 18 pounds, we're getting uh, 12 pounds for 30 bucks here. Let's take a look at the B&B. Walmart.com. 17.6 pounds, 17.6 pounds, 10 bucks. And they're even giving, uh, it's 24.9 cents per pound. Let's go back, did, did the uh, Kingsford have that? I not tell you how much per pound, but <laughs> that's 30 bucks, that's 10 bucks. Uh, that's 30 bucks for 12 pounds. This is uh, 10 bucks for 17.6 pounds. Holy, that's quite a difference. Uh, let's keep on going. Maybe this maybe that stuff is so good that it's worth that. Let's find it. All right, bags are open. Um, on the top, they're mostly, I, I don't see any issues here. They open just fine. But there is going to be an issue here as to how we do this because the Kingsford briquettes are definitely smaller and weigh less 
there's the Kingsford and there's the B and B. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh up 10 of the B and B, see what the weight is, and then uh, we'll put enough in to get to the same weight with the Kingsford. I got my aluminum tray on there. I'll zero this out and then, uh, hang on, zero this out. There we go. And then put 10 of the B&B &B in there, see what the weight is, write it down, and then take another tray, zero it out, and put enough Kingsford in. Now, th this is gonna give an advantage to the Kingsford because it's gonna have more surface area burning, in my opinion. We're gonna have to see how many more briquettes it takes of the Kingsford to <laughs> equal the B&B. &B. This is starting to get complicated. All right, let's keep All on right, going. So there's the B&B. &B. 10 of them is just shy of a pound and a quarter. Now we're going to, uh, I'll tray on, zero it out, and put enough Kingsford to get close to that 1.18. Uh, All right, there's 10. Let's get some more. All right, so that's 16. So six more. We're just a little over than what we were on the uh, on the BNB. We're going to call that good. All right, I'm going to give it two minutes of the torch. charcoal stack now this is where kingsford is probably going to have a little advantage over the bnb because you've got six more briquettes in there to get the same poundage but you're going to have more surface area of your briquettes going up too so i would ex i got high hopes here for the, for the uh, kingsford so we got our temp gauge right there you can see where we are we're going to monitor this uh we're going to give you some look sees uh and uh see how long it lasts let's keep on going All right 30 minutes into it with the kingsford professional and uh smoke's rolling and we're just about the 200 degrees right, so wind could play effect into it right now they're just out of the west which is that way so we're kind of you know and you can see by the by the way the smoke is going up that uh there's not a whole lot of wind we'll see how it picks up during the day like i said they could affect it a little bit but it's one of those things all right 45 minutes smoke is cleared and we're approaching 350 right, degrees for one hour in with the uh kingsford professional uh, we definitely did peak at 350 you can see our temps are coming down uh we're gonna do like i said we're gonna do it the same way when we do the bnb &B. let's see how we're doing we're gonna open it up take a look at the uh at the at the uh, kingsford where we're sitting here all right well ashing up pretty good we're gonna run these till they can't go no more give you a look see and uh, we're gonna try and get all the ash out of there, save it, and then weigh it up and see how much ash there is, compare the two. All right, two and a half hours, you can see everything's out. Take a look at the ash here. Yeah, we're definitely, yeah, we're done there. So we're gonna take the ash out, try and attempt to weigh it, and then uh, we're gonna start all over with the B&B. &B. All right, there's the ash from the Kingsford, some of it blew around. So I'm gonna call it, call it uh, with what, is still in there and what's in there yet. I'm gonna call this about a quarter pound, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, let's uh, get going up with the beam. All right, uh, two minutes with the torch, two minutes resting. Uh, I've got the other nine stacked on there. Get the lid on, give you a look. All right, after 15 minutes, smoke's rolling and we are approaching 150 degrees. Wind has picked up a little bit, so that could affect it just a tad bit. All right, one hour, 350. Uh, Keep on watching. All right, hour and a half in. I think 350 was the max. We're down to 250 now. Take a look here at our, yeah, burning up, but uh, still going pretty strong. Keep on going here. Let you know when it is dead. All right, two hours exactly with the b, &B holding about two and a quarter. All right, three hours, uh, 175. Still got a little bit to go there yet. This is a pretty impressive. b, &B is definitely all performing that stuff over there. Um, give you the final time in a couple minutes or <laughs> an hour. All right, four hours b, &B. It's still going. <laughs> We're going to give it about a half an hour here. We'll weigh up the ashes, give, give you a look-see. All right, after four hours, there's our ash content. Uh, <laughs> really similar to what it was with the Kingsford, but the Kingsford didn't go as long as the... Uh, b and b did give you my final thoughts all right final thoughts uh i, I tell you what it's not even close b and b all the way the price hotter longer cleaner kingsford professional 
didn't do anything. I, I, I tell you what, I, I'm not, not impressed with that at all. And it was more expensive by a lot other than B&B on Walmart's website. Tom Horseman YouTube. Let me know what you think. Hey, and you know what? If you enjoy this kind of content, be afraid to go down to the super thanks down below, buy me a cool drink. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, folks.